the NDA for Vermintide 2 has completely released or lifted now, and um, I want to start making some videos here for you guys on the locations of the tomes and the grimoires for uh, Vermintide 2. So in this video here today, we'll be starting off with the map Righteous Stand. Um, I'm not sure where exactly this is in the actual campaign or where we'll see it. I've heard that it's maybe in Act 3. Um, be, do keep in mind that this is the beta. So as you can see in the upper right corner, this is the beta. This is subject to change and we'll see um, how things go. Uh, what we're doing here is I've sped the game up and as soon as we get to every location with the tomes and the grimoires, it will slow down and we'll discuss where they are, how we kind of got to this point. Um, the important thing here is I've seen a lot of these videos and they just kind of fade in and out of where they are. I wanted this to kind of be, it give you some perspective on where the hell these actually are in relation to the map. So hopefully this gives you an idea here. Um, we're actually coming up on the first one as we kind of clear some of these baddies and just uh, head pop some of these marauders. There we go. So here's the first one here. You're going to come up to this little cart. You're going to go uh, check your back. Then you're going to jump on top of it. And then there's your first tome in a righteous stand. Quick and easy. And we will have uh, stamps to each one of these um, actual locations, so you don't have to keep listening to my voice all throughout all what is it like twelve minutes of this video. But um, you're going to go through more here, kind of slay through some stuff, pick up uh, Sakarma's ass or Jonathan's ass. Can't remember who died right there. Probably Gojira. Um, that's who was joining me in this in this grand adventure. I was going to just record everything, but we were in Discord and just just all sorts of rabble rousing was going on. So um, you come to this porticolous portion of the map here, and your your next. Um, well, you're actually, your first grimoire is actually going to come up here pretty soon here. So let me know if you guys enjoy this format of the sped up gameplay. I know it's kind of dizzying when the actual um, shooting gets going and stuff like that, but hopefully it gives you an idea of where things are as you're playing through. There's a bit of a bug here. This, this rattling gunner was just behind this wall and just shooting nonstop relentlessly. And he could not be shot. Like, see, like, no, there was no stopping him. He was a machine. And there'll be bits and moments where I just kind of get quiet. And then we'll come up to the Bastion entrance. We'll come up over here to the first Grimoire. So you want to kind of, it's kind of a, a, a wonky path here. We're in the Watch Barracks. Um, you want to turn this corner. You want to turn this corner. I feel like I'm watching it in slow-mo now. Now you're going to jump. You don't need to jump onto this barrel, but it does help a little bit. Um, you can just kind of raw jump it into right where that rat is. But you jump right onto those tools onto this box you jump all the way over to these boxes over here kind of shimmy over to this little uh, bookshelf onto this box and boom there's your first grimoire now the grimoires guys if you have not played vermintide one let's give you a rundown of what the tomes and the grimoires do so the tomes will actually um, give you increased loot in each map and same thing with the grimoire so the way that this works in uh, vermintide 2 is rather than give you a chance to roll for certain items on like a lotto almost um, you get a loot box and not a conventional loot box you pay for it's just the loot box starts off like i think it's like a peasant's loot box and it progresses up like soldiers to uh generals to eventually emperor's loot box and the emperor's loot box has got premier goodies and those goodies are of course like range from the white common items green items that are like a little bit better blue purple uh, orange all the all the goodness that is that is kind of uh, indicative of these style of games but these tomes and these grimoires help you to get higher ranked loot boxes and the grimoires though as you can see in the lower right corner um my life now has a little tiny portion of it that's uh i guess browned out and that portion um south axe bite Bastion is important. We're going to come up to an next one here pretty soon. But that's important because the Grimoires will, at the end of it, take up 66% of your health. Every single one you grab is 33% health reserve that you cannot use. If you die, you lose. If you if you get knocked out, you lose the Grimoire. So you do have to be a little careful here. Um, grimoires do take the slot of a um, strength potion, a speed potion, stuff like that. So we're coming up here to our second tome. You're going to come up this ramp, up this ramp, before you go into North Bite. This is right after South Bite, right in that little uh, guard tower. You're going to come over to this corner. You're going to see an opening. You're, you're going to see a little guy in that, in that uh, box there. Pressing T will highlight these if you don't know where they are. And then you're going to go ahead and pick that up. We have to have someone else come and pick it up. You only can hold one tome and one grimoire per person. Um, the tomes will fill in your 
healing slot. So that's important to note. So you will not be able to heal while you're holding a tome, but you can pick up and put down tomes. Grimoires, you can't. If you drop them, you lose them forever. So that's important to note here. Um, you can, there's, there's a, there's a mentality of uh, getting to a point of no return because there's a lot of points in the map that if you go to them, you go beyond a certain point, you can't come back from that point. So there's a there's a kind of theory that you get to that point, then go back and get a grimoire and kind of speed to that point. Hopefully you don't get a horde in the meantime, but I can tell you that almost never works. <laughs> but it's, it's important though to get these tomes and these grimoires and the lower difficulties. And as you move up to the harder difficulties, um, you'll want to come through and do them as well. Uh, the, the grimoires are very hard on the harder difficulties to grab. So kind of be a little mindful of that. This isn't something you should just, oh, I'm in hard, screw it, I'll go grab it. Make sure your team can hold on to those grimoires or else you're just gonna struggle to get into the point where your team dies and you lose a grimoire and you're just frustrated because now you've wasted 15 minutes of just like struggling through tons and tons of hordes. That ammo crate is extremely essential. And it should come as no surprise that I'm playing Krellian, an elf. Um, I will do a video separately on Krellian and her abilities here. Um, you can already see that we're, we're having an issue with the North Bastion. So right now we're in the North Bite Bastion. Bastion. This is right before the final portion of the game. So you've gone through the outside portion. You've gone through one guard tower to get our first tome. Now you're going through another outside portion. The cannon has gone off. You'll go through that cannon portion and then to another guard tower. You'll wade through a massive amount of uh, Skaven. And you'll see... Uh, I've sped up past the part of me trying this, and I'll get to the one where I actually make it, and I'll explain why what I was doing wasn't working. So as you can see, I'm kind of trying to get level with that uh, beam to jump across, and it'll it'll slow down here in a second. So if you get into this doorway and get on the same level as the beam, that's where you're going to make the jump possible. So if you get to the get into the corner of that doorway, face the beam, you'll be on the same platform, and you'll be able to, to jump from one to one. This final one, though. Careful, you gotta jump onto a windowsill, crouch down, get under, get through. There you go. So it's kind of a little tedious. It, a lot of these grimoires will involve some sort of jump puzzle or some sort of hidden little items you have to choose. So once you hit this lever, um, it'll drop a ladder down. As you can see as I turn right, that ladder to the right right there. Um, in my in my ignorance, I completely forgot where the hell it was. Like, what the fuck's that ladder? But you have to uh, get my fat ass out the door, the window here. That so that ladder, you have to jump onto it. It's it looks like you can't make it, but you you can. You have to kind of edge out onto the windowsill and do it. Um, we were kind of complaining about about who would pick up the grimoire because it's not an easy jump puzzle. Um, as you can see, there was like basically a minute and a half of me failing. So you get there, you kind of line up, get outside a little bit, and then jump, and boom, you'll catch it right as before it goes all the way down. You'll climb up, and there will be your last and final grimoire. Now, do keep in mind, you have to get someone else here if you have picked up the last grimoire. I recommend if you're the per person that's most competent jumper, have someone else get the, <laughs> get the last grimoire. Um, I was able to kind of come through here and show Jonton how to do it after like, so yeah, if you do fall, you can go right up this ladder and you're good to go. But you get picked up by an assassin and get killed, so screw it, right? So again, you can see lining up right there, right onto that, that portion of the beam, jumping across, jumping across and then through the witness cell. Once you go do it once, you really, you've got it down at that point. It's it's pretty easy. Um, the, the most tedious part is finding them and getting through it because if you don't do it quickly, you will get faced with a horde of just Skaven. I mean, they're gonna just come nonstop until you get to the next portion that cuts off the map. So be mindful of that while you are doing all this. Um, you, you wanna make sure that you are uh, you're doing it in somewhat timely of a manner or else, especially on a harder difficulty, you're just gonna get swarmed and killed and that's just no fun for anyone. Those snatch rats, I hate them. This was just one of those moments, because if you, during these times where it's like, oh, okay, they're not progressing, we gotta throw some unnecessarily hard shit at them. So they'll just throw rattling gunners, snatch rats, um, or pack rats, whatever they are, um, um, slaver rats or whatever, and, and assassins nonstop. So we're coming up actually to our final tome here too, which is which is nice. If uh, people would stop dying out here in the Nether Realms, um, if if you guys are asking or wondering, will I be playing Vermintide too? I absolutely will. We're putting it up on the channel. I'll be streaming it. Um, Indie Pride's getting it. 
Um, Lomash Rosotek is getting it. John Ton's getting it. Uh, Turin's getting it. So we're all gonna we're all gonna play together. So expect uh, plenty of footage from us. Um, I'll make a turn, just like click a bunch, so it just handicaps him. That'll be my, that'll always be my tactic, even when we're on the same side. So I have to save him and be like, "Do you remember the time I saved you in Vermintide?" Okay, so this is our last tome here. Um, this one is not as tricky, it, it, but it is tricky in the sense that you would you would totally gloss past this if you didn't think to look. So you have to you come through that last portion right before you go up the steps. You turn left. Oh, look at these bushes. Inconspicuous. Probably can't go through these. I've lied to you. I knew you could go through it. I'm the guy making the video. So there you go. Here's your last tome. Pretty easy. So again, you have to have someone come and pick it up for you. It does fill up one of your uh, healing slots and they've got to come pick that up. And uh, here comes the karma just dragging his ass. So that, that concludes it, guys. That's our the first map righteous stand i think it's like in the third act or the first act of the game i'm not really sure um this is the beta and this will subject to change i might change this video when the game does come out um, but let me know what you thought of this format did you enjoy the uh sped up go between between each point in this and uh the, the kind of slow description of where they were or would you just prefer put all of them in one video slam it together and fade in and out I i'm down for either one whatever is the best way to give you guys the information and make it relevant to your playthrough i want to make sure that you don't have to always wonder, okay, where the hell is this spot now? Like, I always find that when I was looking through these videos, when I was playing Vermintide 1, I was like, I have no frame of reference as to where this location is. So, let me know if this uh, tickles your fancy here, guys. We'll have plenty more of uh, our Vermintide 2 to uh, cover. Uh, I'll be doing probably a video here on... Um, Corellian's individual skills. We'll do one of Salt Spire and all the other guys as I unlock them. I have to get their goodies unlocked first. But so far, guys, I'm enjoying it. But thanks for watching. Have a good one and take care.